yeah what's good what's going on man it's your boy ac though i know it's been a long time man it ain't been that long but yeah man it's, it's been a little bit man it's been a little bit since i vlog man um if you follow me on twitter you know what i'm saying i'm still active i'm still part of the culture i'm still doing battle rap still talking about it you know sometimes you know you just gotta switch things up you know take a seat back take care of certain priorities and things of that nature man but I've definitely been tapped into the whole battle rap culture, man, where everything's going on. And I'm definitely back for y'all, man. As you can see, your boy, you know what I'm saying, is at work and everything, man. So we're going to call this blog, man, URL Homecoming Truckers Edition, man. We're going to be doing a little bit of Truckers Edition blogs. You know what I mean? Big shout out to all the truck drivers out there. I'm definitely part of the Truck Drivers Union. You know what I mean? We, we make a lot of shit happen, man. You know, if it wasn't for us, man. A lot of the consumers, a lot of the goods that y'all get, that y'all use on an everyday basis, really wouldn't be obtainable, man, if it wasn't for your truck drivers, man. So if you see a truck driver, man, honk the horn, salute him. If you see him in line at 7-Eleven or Starbucks, buy him a coffee, man. Just do something good for your truck drivers, you know what I mean? But yo, man, I'm not going to waste no time, man. Let's talk about it, man. URL. Shout out to URL, man. We got the homecoming. November 6th, back in New York City, Urban Plaza, man. Lo, check this out, man. I cannot wait for this shit, bro. I cannot wait for this, man. Um, I'm definitely gonna be in the building. Shout out to my shout out to my nigga Mills, man. Me and him both, we're gonna be in the building, man. But yo, this is this is it, man. Like, this is it, man. Like Ichi Gotti versus Murder Moot, man. So we got West Coast. I'm going to call him a legend, man. Just for the short period of time that Geechee Gotti has been in battle rap, the things that he's accomplished, the things that he's done, I'm talking about from the battles he's taken, the consistency, um, not to mention three-time uh, champion of the year, like starting his own league, has his own brand. Like Geechee Gotti has done so much in a short period of time in battle rap. It's insane, man. Like this man is literally giving you the blueprint in 2022 to be successful as a battle rapper and like i don't understand why people are not taking note to this like gichi Gotti promotes he, he's consistent he doesn't choke he doesn't stumble he's always prepared like what more can you ask for man like you ask me gichi Gotti is the king of battle rap right now man a lot of people would say tay rock a lot of people would say sue surf i'm not mad at it man but I want to say maybe two years ago or a year ago, I saw Geechee Gotti live on stage, man, versus Calico, bro. And, like, you know, I, I watched him, you know, on Caffeine and things of that nature and on YouTube. But to see that man live in person, man, it's different, yo. That shit is different, man. So big shout out to Geechee Gotti, man. And then we got motherfucking Harlem legend. We cannot forget Harlem legend, man. The, the, the GOAT, man The GOAT of this shit, man The reason why we all watch One of the reasons I ain't gonna say the main reason But he's one of the reasons Why I watch battle rap to this day This man was the first battle I ever saw, man I never forget, man I lived in Manchester, Connecticut, man It used to be a mixtape store I think it was called In The Cut On Main Street, man If you tap in, you know what I'm talking about My man used to have all the DVDs From The Come Up, Smack, Real Talk I mean, the N1 mixtapes, like, he used to have everything, man. i never forget, yo. I think it was, it was either the Smack DVD that had Ludacris and Jadakiss on it. I don't remember which one, yo, but it was the battle with Murder Moot Battle Party Party. That was the very first URL battle I ever saw, yo. And I was hooked. I was hooked, bruh. I was hooked. I was like, yo, this nigga is fire, bruh. And... You know, I, I don't I don't really like to compare, but I'm just gonna compare this. Just 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 walk with me just for a second. I'm just gonna compare, and you look at Murder Mook's trajectory, and you look at Geechee Gotti's trajectory. Now, some would say, well, Murder Mook, you know, we were in different times. Like we didn't have social media, we didn't have a lot of these, you know, tools um, at our disposal. But we still all had the same. 24 hours we all had the same mind frame you know what i'm saying so 
he still had shit like world star hip-hop um you had out dvd outlets and things of that nature so um you know murder mook did his thing man you know what i'm saying like he did his thing on cam you know what i'm saying he hasn't had too many big successful uh main stage battles um you know we got the eye asylum in the, the infamous four five round battle you know what i'm saying um but i don't know man like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get straight to it man murder mook you in trouble bro Mur murder mook you in trouble bro you in trouble bro you in trouble I'm telling you, man. Listen, I was there, man. And it's not a bash murder Moot, but it's like I really hope Moot has real niggas in his corner that's not sugarcoating shit, that's not telling him what he want to hear, that's really going to tell this man, like, yo, you really need to switch your shit up, bro. Like, you really got to get back to that bag of really talking to your opponents, man. Them long, drawn-out schemes and shit, it's a time and place for that, bro. On that big stage, man, nah, man, you don't got time for that. Yo, I'm gonna tell you, man. I went, I went to Houston, bro. I was there for that fucking murder move and Reed Dollars, man. And I was excited, bro, because this is my first time seeing Reed Dollars, the legend, and murder move. Like this is gonna be the first time I'm seeing these niggas live in the flesh. Yo, my nigga, the battle was so ass. I literally walked out of the venue, like, like top of the second round, like. I left with a whole bunch of other people. We all just walked out. Like, man, fuck this shit. Niggas is tired. This nigga Mook. You gotta be shitting me. Like, all oh, this crazy shit. Like, Mook, man, this shit was not it. And I don't know what the hell was good with Reed. Like, I don't know, man. That shit was just terrible, man. And then, you know, you look at his track record from, like I said, the Iron Solomon battle. Then you got the two on two, you know, the, the physical altercation that took place with that. Then they tried to do it over with Big T and New Jersey Twerk. And that shit was like a disaster. It was just messy, bro. Like, I don't know, man. Mook, you have not shown to be successful on those big stages, man. Some might say the Total Slaughter, uh, the, the Mook versus Lux 3 was a good performance. It was a pretty good performance. I mean, that's not your typical battle rap crowd. But I do like the performance that Murder Mook gave on that stage against the... Uh, low deluxe but if i gotta be it's gotta be real man gichi Gotti not fucking playing bro gichi Gotti has an opportunity to solidify himself on the mount rushmore of the goat the goat of the shit you know what i'm saying he already done took lux out he done battled calico he done battled sue surf he done battled a verb <laughs> He didn't battle Hitman yet. He still got he still got a few that he gotta knock. You know what I'm saying? He gotta cross off his list. But if you beat her to move, not only do you beat him, but if you beat him in his home state in New York City, Urban Plaza on the biggest stage, it's solidified, bro. It's nothing you could tell me about this man, bro. It's nothing you could tell me, man. Like, period. And Geechee Gotti has a huge opportunity to just slam the gavel and just make it unanimous. Nigga, I'm the fucking GOAT. I'm the best to ever do it, bro. I think so, man. And Mook, man, this is a big, this is this is a big battle, bro. Like, if you have a bad performance, you know what I'm saying? And if, and if you straight up lose, like on some 30 ball bad shit, not only will your stock go down, but just you having this mystique of being, you know one of the greatest to do this shit and get top top you know you know top notch pay that shit is all going down bro because you gotta think about it like just look at social media like this is the main event Gichi Gotti versus Murder Moot why isn't nobody really like why isn't this shit being talked about why is there not a lot of blogs a lot of hoop rock on, on Twitter and on YouTube and Facebook like I don't really see it you know what I'm saying? Like, I see a lot of the other shit going on in battle rap. You know, niggas, niggas rehearsing before the battle. And, you know, you got the whole Chris Abaya situation. And you got uh, Chrome 23, the controversy with Ad. Like, it's a lot of the negative shit that's getting publicity. But you got two of the most dynamic performers. 
I don't say one of them niggas ain't got any performance, but I'm gonna say rappers, part of, I'm gonna part of something, I'm gonna say battle rappers. You know what I'm saying? Battling in New York City, man. Like this shit is next week. I don't know, man. I don't think the fans are really sold, Moot. I think you have to really you have to really gain the respect from us, man, because you really lost it, man. Like, in my opinion, you really lost the respect. And you have to win this battle. Not only do you have to not I'm gonna I'm gonna take that back. You could lose this battle, right? It could be a debatable, you know, edge two one. You have to have a great performance, boo. You have to have a great performance. You have to. That's the only way that's gonna save you. Like, well, Geechee got it, but Moop was talking that shit. Moop performance was crazy. Like, it gotta be debatable. You gotta clearly win, or it has to be debatable. You lose straight out thirty ball. So, and I'ma keep it real. I got you losing three zero. Listen, I, I'm so, I got you losing three zero, Moop. Three zero. I got Geechee Gotti coming in there, barking, getting you the fuck out of here. I got him rebuttaling a lot of your material. Like I, I'm telling you, bro. I think Geechee is so motivated to just get you out of here. This is probably gonna be one of Geechee Gotti's best performances. I guarantee you, it, bro. Look at this nigga go. Look at Geechee Gotti's headline on Twitter. He got the king of New York. The man trolling murder move crazy all over social media. The nigga remaking caffeine flyers with a whole nother nigga faces murder move. Like, it's go. Shit is crazy, my nigga. And then Mook does a press conference. He has a couple bloggers there. And it's like, shout out to Harlem Legend TV. Yo, that nigga, yo, Harlem Legend TV, you funny as a motherfucker, bro. Shout out to Harlem Legend TV, man. Like, no bars from hip hop is real. Like them niggas was trying to like ask Moot, like, you know, questions that we want to know. Like, we don't give a fuck about um what are you gonna know? Moot. Oh, what what have you done? What type of adjustments have you like these niggas was trying to ask the real questions? And it's like, you know, Moot over talking niggas, long-winded responses and shit. It was just sloppy, man. Like that I probably was like 25 minutes in that press conference and I turned that shit off. I'm like, how you having a press conference and your opponent is not there? Like the fuck i don't know man i just see too many red flags with murder moot man too many too many red flags bro i'm just not convinced man i got murder i got gishi Gotti part of me 3-0 3-0 i'm taking all bets if anybody want to bet me i'm gonna be in the building i'm taking all bets i got gishi Gotti 3-0 clear my nigga clear this is not a small room this is a big stage Urban Plaza, New York City. They know, they know this Moop home time, but they also know Moop been fucking up. So I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> Geechee, no, Geechee, man, listen, bro. I don't know, man. Moop, Moop, you gotta win this battle, Moop. Gotta win this battle. Period, man. That's all I got, man. I got Geechee Gotti three yo, man. In the comment section, man. Let me know. Who y'all got winning this battle, man? I'm excited though. Overall, I'm excited, man. We're gonna do some more predictions um in the next couple of vlogs, but I really had to get this main I had to get the main event out of the way, bro, because I'm just like I, I'm <laughs> I'm just disgusted, man. Like <laughs> this shit is crazy, man. It's crazy, man. But yo, man, you already know, man. It's your boy Acito, man, dedication TV. You know what I'm saying? The truckers edition, man. All my truck drivers, man, you know. Tap in with your boy, man. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Instagram. Ace is working. Let's network, man. I'm going to be doing a lot more blogs, man. So best believe, man. I'm going to be tapping back in, man. But it's your boy. I'm signing out. Shit.